Your parents won't tell you to go get a job if you've already created one for your own. So it's just a matter of don't be afraid of mistakes, don't be afraid of what others think, and listen, there are 10,000 opportunities out there. It's just about going getting them. I'm on a journey to create the greatest movie experience in the world. While I'm carving out my filmmaking entrepreneurial path, I want to help you create yours. Let's make some movies. Hey everyone, James Martin here. Listen, I want to give you a bit of context into this upcoming video. See, I had the special privilege to go to Unity High School in Barrie, where I was given the honor of speaking to the students and giving them a little bit of context into how to get started in filmmaking and content creation, videography, the whole shebang. So what you're going to see is basically the entire presentation as well as when I was talking to the students. So if this brings you value, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and thoughts down in the comments. All right, thanks and I hope you enjoy the video. just so I can get a, a feeling for you guys. So, obviously we're talking about media and videography and filmmaking. How many of you are interested specifically in videography? Okay, cool. Cool, well that's fine. If you're, if you're showing this like, yeah, maybe that's totally fine too. Uh, photography? Yeah, cool, cool. Filmmaking. Okay, awesome. Who needs videography anyways? No. So that's awesome, I mean, Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, just pulling up my own notes. There we go. So, here's one thing I really want you guys to understand just before I get started. One of the interesting things that might be a little different from me compared to some of the others is the funny thing is I'm not that much different from you guys in terms of I'm not that much older than you. Right? Um, show of hands, how many of you are 14? 14, 15, okay, 16, let's try 17, let's try 18. Okay, so oldest, okay, so oldest one is 17, awesome. I'm 24. So like, I mean, we're obviously I'm like seven, 10 years older than most of you guys. I was like you. So what I'm trying to say is like, I grew up with the technology that you guys have, and I'm not as far as, as much as I do have a business, and I'm in my career right now, I got started with pretty much the same resources that you guys have, like your phones, whatever computer you have. I started off from nothing and went from where I am right now. I have business, work with amazing companies at the local chamber as an example, work with Georgia College and their entrepreneurship center. So I'm not like where most, most of the people that might be coming in might be in their 40s and 50s. So I'm kind of the same as you. Now, one of the big differences that I might have compared to you is I didn't go through the whole high school system that you guys are obviously going through. I was actually homeschooled. I was homeschooled until I went to um, until I went to film school later on. One of the big things that I got to basically learn from being a homeschooler was the ability to take on a challenge by myself, figure stuff out on my own, and more importantly, to seek opportunities. I didn't be. I wasn't afraid of what other people might think. I wasn't afraid of failure. I just, when I saw something, I just went after it. So we're gonna be talking so much a lot about opportunity on today's career day, and I really wanna to emphasize to you guys that like, listen, whether it's videography, photography, filmmaking, any you can get started. Doesn't matter what resources you have, you literally can get started any way you want. So where do I begin? So obviously I grew up as a homeschooler. It wasn't until I was about your age that I really wanted to get into filmmaking. One of my favorite movies of all time, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And if you like that movie, okay, awesome. <laughs> Otherwise, go to the next class. So that's what I really wanted to get into. I just had to get in there. So I started uh, teaching myself video editing, bought my own camcorder, served me very, very well. I drove that thing into the dirt because I used it so much. My parents opened up a former art studio, thankfully, in 2008. It was called Music in Motion. It's still going right now in Bradford. Basically, I reached out to them in 2009, and I said, hey, listen, I want to get involved in the company. How can I bring sort of like my video skills? I would sort of self-teach myself at that point. How can I bring that into the business? And they said, record the shows. 
So from that point forward, all the theater shows, all the events, all the recitals, I recorded and gave like a recorded copy to the families. Then I got more involved. I started to create promos and music videos. I ran their social media. So I got to teach myself, you know, Facebook when it basically got started. YouTube when it essentially got started. Pinterest, I don't even touch Pinterest. I learned Instagram when it basically just came out. So I got to learn all that basic teaching myself. Then I went to film school, graduated. Someone said start a business. So when I graduated, I went into more independent contract work with my other businesses. Then started my own business in February. And right now, I'm almost four years in. So one of the things, again, I want to emphasize to you is everything that I've pretty much done in my entire life, I basically went after of my own. My parents didn't create my business. Actually, my parents didn't even pay for my college tuition. I took care of that. My business, I've been doing it all, every single step of the way, just on my own. So, everything from starting, teaching myself, working with different businesses, lately working with the Chamber of Commerce, all that I was able to do on my own. So, one of the things I want to emphasize to you guys today is the power of starting out. Because the magic thing is, so give me an understanding. How many of you own a camera, not just your phone? Okay, cool. Out of curiosity, Canon? Nikon. All right, hands up to the guys in the room. Nikon fans, awesome. Okay, so if you don't have a camera, I want you to understand that's totally fine. There is so much power in just using your phone. It's unbelievable. Actually, the phones nowadays are incredible as far as quality goes. I have an iPhone 5S and it's just amazing, right? Some of you might have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the door size 10. Either of those work. And what absolutely amazes me is that especially, how many of you are on Instagram? Just out of curiosity, any of you use Instagram? Fantastic. Imagine this, what if you started taking photos, posted that on Instagram one to four times a day, give yourself a few years, and you become the photography expert. Or start taking your camera, start making some movies or some videos, go on YouTube, post once a week, give yourself three to five years, you just became a YouTube influencer. Simple as that. So one of the important things I really want to emphasize to you guys again today is there are opportunities out there. I'm, about, I'm going to go into some of the opportunities, but there are other opportunities. It's just about finding those opportunities and taking advantage of them. So, you guys want to get into video filmmaking photography. So how do you start? Well, the easiest thing to find is what do you have available to you? So you have a camera, great, that's one start. How many of you know how to do editing? Show of hands. Basic, that's fine. You know what, I didn't know anything about editing when I first started. I used the worst editing software on the planet, Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> then I actually got a software from my dad called Power Director, then Adobe Premiere, now I'm on Final Cut 10, using that as an instrument. On your phones, you can do basic editing, right? How many of you are on iPhone? Okay, are you familiar with iMovie? Fantastic, perfect start. What I also keep sharing to other people, especially business owners, is you can even go into social media. Social media has a bit of editing tools on its own, right? Because you can add, what, text, color, emojis, the whole shebang. Start with there. You can easily create a YouTube channel on your own, and as I said, just keep posting those videos. So you have a platform. You don't have to necessarily worry about getting a theater. You already have a free platform for yourself. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube. What else can you put into your movies? Well, how many of you know some local actors? Awesome. And if you don't know any, Find other high schools. Find theater groups. There are tons. Listen, and if anything, my parents have performed in their studio in Angus. Tons of kids doing acting over there. And there are people who are willing to come and act in your movie because they're trying to learn. They're trying to gain experience and exposure. You get talent. Right? What other options do you have? So as far as shooting goes, yes, we may not have the availability to a set or maybe a green screen or anything really big and fancy, what do you have? You have your house. 
get permission to shoot in your house. You can go to a park, and as long as you're not shooting everyone else, go to a park, go to the waterfront, go to a local forest, go on the street. You wake up at six, seven o'clock in the morning, I know that sucks, but no one's outside at six or, uh, six or seven o'clock in the morning. You can easily go onto the main street of Dunlop, and it's just empty. Do whatever you need out there. Just, I don't advise getting yourself hurt. Just want to make sure that's clear. But those resources are not free. Those resources are there for you. How many of you know musicians? Show of hands. Or are a musician? Nice, way to go. If you have access to music, that's an expensive resource. Because you could hire a composer, composers charge thousands of dollars. You could get stock music, stock music costs anywhere from $20 a track to hundreds of dollars to get access to a library. If you're a musician, holy smokes, you can create your own music and put that in. That's something that people are killing for. So what I'm trying to say to you is there are so, all sorts of different ways that you can make your own movie. And listen, you guys can even partner up. Those guys, especially with the cameras, partner up with each other, use multiple different cameras in the same project, right? Teamwork does way better than working solo. And even if you're doing maybe corporate video or photography, Working together just helps so much. Even now, one of the biggest misconceptions about like, oh, if I need to create something that's really, really good, is do I need to get equipment? That's one of the biggest misconceptions ever. Because you don't. There are people out there who have shot with their phones in natural lighting, and it's the most amazing photos ever, or videos, right? I mean, how many viral videos out there were taken on their phone for crying out loud? It's really that simple. Now I'm just getting distracted by shingling sounds. But I mean, look, free sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Why go online and buy that? Just like, okay, sir, just shingle some of that. It's just Mr. Lee walking. <laughs> exactly. It's about being resourceful. If you're resourceful, there are thousands and thousands of resources out there. Because I mean, look at Barry alone. Barry's got some beautiful, gorgeous landscapes. Like look at the waterfront during the summer. Imagine shooting something over there. Or my favorite season of all is going in the fall. So tons of options there, especially with colors. All right, so what else can we do? So one, there are sort of three ways I want to encourage you about the options that you have as far as whether it's photo, video, or filmmaking that you could be doing to start your career and even start making money. Because I mean, as much as you do, so how many of you are doing this because you love it? You want to get into this because you absolutely love it. How many of you want to do this because you want to see how to make some money? Okay, some of you are like, mm, kind of, I want you to understand that's not a bad thing. If you want to make money, I mean, you got to make money at some point. You're going to have bills to pay and you don't want to eat cat food, right? How many of you don't want to eat cat food? Thank you. You sir are just kind of thinking about it. You're like, uh, hmm, cat food. Yeah, it's edible. <laughs> like, it's food. Like, I'll survive. That's true. That's all that matters to me. Would you rather eat a nice 24-ounce uh, steak or cat food? I'd eat the steak, but at the same time, if it's for survival, I'd choose cat food. Okay, I love your optimism. So what I'm talking about is you want to make money so you can have the steak and you don't have to depend on cat food. You hear what I'm getting at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what can we do to make money? Hey guys, I just want to pause this video for a quick second to remind you to please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week, and my goal here is to help filmmakers to not only make better movies, but to help you succeed in your career. So, please, subscribe. I'm bringing you tons of value. I don't want you to miss anything, alright? And now, back to the video. The beautiful thing about movies is that you can sell them, number one, right? What I'm doing right now, like especially with the, the products that I'm producing, is I'm out to sell them. Sell them on DVDs, sell tickets, there's tons of options there. What else can you do? So you can sell your art. You can also, here's where I come in, here's where I start. Create content for others. So show up hands again, how many of you are on Instagram? Okay, would you say you guys are fairly familiar with Instagram, like you're comfortable with it? Yeah, pretty much. We grew up on it, and I get it. I use Instagram every single day. There are business owners out there in their 30s, 40s, 50s, they don't want to touch that stuff. They don't, because to them, it's too techy, and they don't want to get into it. And besides, you and I all know, 
social, social media, especially places like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, that stuff changes almost every week, right? Like every week, there's just something new to add on to Instagram. Well, there are businesses out there that are killing for talent like yours. Same thing with video. How is it that I get to where I am? Because no one wants to do video. So they bring people like myself in with my skills and my talents to create videos for them, for their business, their YouTube channel, whichever you prefer. Photography, huge. Same thing, there are businesses out there, there are entrepreneurs and artists, they need photo photographers. This is also why I have Jade in here. So that's Jade, hi everyone, that's Jade. So Jade is teaching her, is trying to figure out photo and video, and I basically just gave her the opportunity to come and record me. You know, it's doing me a favor, I'm trying to do her a favor. But it's that kind of stuff that people need. You know, if you want to get started, one of my biggest recommendations for you, you can actually go to a local charity, do photos and videos for them. You're doing a good cause, you're connecting with amazing people, and that's something you can showcase to other people. It's like, hey, guess what, did a corporate video, you know? And listen, age doesn't matter anymore. <clears throat> doesn't matter if you're 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. People will bring you on. Now, it might be a few free gigs at the start, because you're trying to learn, trying to develop your skill, but gigs do come. And it doesn't matter how old you are. They're after your skill, not your age. Those are really good opportunities there. And of course, the final thing I want to mention to you guys, and I'm sure you're already well into, is develop a following online using your art. So you're already on Instagram. How many of you are trying to grow a following on Instagram? Show of hands. Okay. Did you know that there are millions of people on Instagram every single day? Millions. Think of that. Over a million people could be looking at your photos or videos. And they're like, holy smoke, I love what Tim is posting. I want to keep following him because he posts wicked stuff. May I ask what's your name? Ash. Ash? Nice. I want to follow Ash because what is, name something that you like. I'm drawing. Drawing? Holy smoke, drawing cats are huge nowadays. Seriously. Like seriously. Make some drawings, post up pictures, boom. By the way, everyone in the video, pick some, put, uh, I can't speak. Do some drawing, put that into your movie too. You know, Ash over here can draw posters. Ash over here can do graphic design. Ash, there are so, like drawing alone, there's so many different talents. What I'm trying to tell you though is, with Instagram, you can, did you know, Okay, I, I read somewhere a few weeks ago, there are companies out there that will pay up to a million dollars for you to give a shout out on Instagram. Up to a million dollars. And do you know who that was? Ronaldo. Now obviously we're talking about Ronaldo, but I want you to understand the possibilities that because of his influence, he just gives one shout out. Simple. It's like, hey, I like this company. Boom, a million bucks. That's insane. YouTube, how many of you have a YouTube channel? Okay, every one of you should have a YouTube channel, even drawing. Did you know that there are over two billion people on the internet right now? And easily over a billion of those people are watching YouTube videos every single day? Insanity. How many of you follow a YouTube influencer? I don't care who it is. I have PRC, how many follow Mr. Beast? Okay. I follow him too. What does he do? <laughs> what does he do? Give away money, basically. <laughs> That's one of the things that he does. But he does a lot of crazy stuff. Like he watched paint dry one time. Or he filled a kid's backyard with pennies. Or he bought a car with pennies. So it was like crazy stuff. With permission. <laughs> now, do you know how much YouTube costs? Do you know how much it costs to post a video? How much does it cost you guys to make a video? You gotta pay for the electricity. Well, what I mean is, you can, well, forget electricity, because you can go home, your parents are paying for that, you don't have to pay for that directly to get access. If you have to place your own, yes, you have to pay for electricity. What I'm trying to say to you is you have this much that you have to pay for stuff, right? You all have access to a camera, so already, that's huge. I remember not having a camera, and that sucked. So you can easily start to post, you know, Post once a week on YouTube, as I said, three to five years, you can have, you can be a YouTube influencer. Now, 
You guys also told me that you're four, most of you are 14, 15, 16. Where are you going to be in three to five years? Well, you might be going to college or university, right? Now, imagine this. You could be posting nonstop on Instagram, start creating your movies, going to corporate, going to, uh, like doing photo and video or drawing or whatever for corporate. In three to five years' time, you'll have a following where you'll start getting gigs for your business. By the time you go into college or university, while your classmates are out looking for jobs and maybe are working at places that they hate, like McDonald's or Tim's or whoever, working $80 a day, hating their job, you're doing what you love, getting paid so much more, you probably could make enough money to pay your tuition. That's what you could be doing literally right now. It just goes to start. So please, I encourage you guys, just start. There's really no excuses anymore, especially when you get into media and filmmaking. It just comes down to starting. I've made movies with just nothing and just figure it out on my own. You do get to a place where you want to go. So just, I'm going to do questions and answers. What time is it? Quarter two. All right. Really? Wow. So we're going to do Q&A in just a second, but before we get into that, I just have three major things I want you guys to please just think about. Number one, just the opportunities are there. I've given you like 10,000 different opportunities that you could start doing right now with filmmaking, drawing, photography, video. And by the way, when I say photo and video too, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and take pictures or do corporate videos in the filmmaking. What other type of videos could you be doing? You know, do a time lapse of you drawing. Do your own music videos, Tim, because I know you do drawing. Do your own music videos. How many of you do baking? Do you enjoy baking? Okay, food is a killer right now. <clears throat> like, it kills right now. Like, seriously, like, there are food channels out there that make millions of subs within, like, a couple years. Not three to five, but that much soon. Imagine doing your own cooking videos. What else do we have here? How many of you want to go into fitness and sports? Kind of? What do you guys like doing for sports? Basketball. Basketball? Soccer. Nice. So there are a little, I, I'm sure you guys have seen there are tons of videos teaching others how to play soccer and how to play <coughs> basketball. Now, I'm not, now, I don't know if that becomes your career, but athleticism, exercise, health, that's huge on the internet. Huge. If you guys ever go into fitness, there are people who are killing to figure out how to do five minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, 20 minute workouts at home. It's huge. If you don't believe me, go look it up on YouTube. It's really that simple. Do vlogging. Vlogging is huge. If you have the opportunities to travel, that's also huge. Anyways, going back, the opportunities are there. Just it's about making the decision to go after because they are there. Now one of the other big reasons that not even just high school students, but I also find a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs, one of the big reasons they don't go after these sort of opportunities is because they're actually afraid of what other people might think, which sucks. And I get it, because you know what? During the entire four years when I was working on my business, my entire family, and I mean my entire family, all said to me, James, stop what you're doing, go, go get a sidekick, go get a side hustle. And I ignored them and I just kept going. So yeah, if you want to be successful, there are going to be people who are going to try and bring you down. You literally got to do this to yourself. Just forget what other people are saying. And by the way, I take feedback incredibly seriously. So obviously, we know the fine line between getting feedback, but when it comes to stopping what you're doing, stopping what you're, stop doing your passion, ignore them. Because you know what? They may say to you, stop, there's no money. It's when you start bringing money that they realize, oh, okay, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. It's only now that I'm making money with my business that now my family's like, oh, okay, so James is working. James actually has a job. Same thing with you guys. See, think of it this way. Your parents won't tell you to go get a job if you've already created one for your own. And the other thing I want to encourage you guys is the fun thing about the artistic world, there's no grades, there's no, you hit this mark in order to pass. It's called, you try something, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If you post a picture or a video and it does really, really well, great. Keep doing more of that. 
if you do a video for a business or do photos for a business or a charity and it does incredibly well, then great, all the success to you. So it's just a matter of don't be afraid of mistakes, don't be afraid of what others think. And listen, there are 10,000 opportunities out there. It's just about going getting them. I value failure. I really do. Like making mistakes, taking chances, this is something you are absolutely allowed to do. When you leave this classroom, I don't want you to be afraid of making mistakes. I don't want you to be afraid of asking questions. All right? There's no such thing as a bad question. And there's no such thing as being like, you know what? Um, I don't know how to do this. Could you help me with that? Because you know what? No one expects us to get this stuff right. Art is something that's always in development and it's always something we evolve and it's something that we get better at. Please, don't be afraid of speaking up, asking questions, and just trying stuff. Some of the most successful people on the planet had major failure at some point, but you know what? You just get back up and keep doing it. Because really, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Like really, because at some point, you're gonna get a job. At some point, you're gonna start talking to people. At some point, maybe, I don't know, not right now, I'm not gonna get into your personal lives, you're gonna end up in a relationship, and you're gonna talk to someone. So, and let's say you say, let's say you ask a question, let's say you try to take a photo and a video, and it ends up terrible. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? The worst thing that's gonna happen is you create something that was terrible and you're gonna forget all about it. That stuff happens. Everyone goes through that. Again, I take a thousand photos, a hundred of them are good, which means 900 of them were terrible. That stuff happens. If you ask a question, and you know what, maybe it's a stupid question, but what's the worst that's gonna happen? You know? Yes, someone might leave you a bad comment. Maybe someone's going to make fun of you because of whatever, but really, that's not going to stop you. Really, you know? I don't care what Jack69 said on your Instagram. I don't care what BooBoo4962 said on Twitter. I really don't. Because you know what? They don't control what you do. That's up to you. So really, block out the noise, focus on what you're doing, and just keep trying. And just keep going and never, ever give up. If anything, one of the things that I wanted to prove to you today was that, listen, at 14, 15, 16, or 17 years old, you can do it. You absolutely can with the resources that you have and go out and be super successful. Okay, guys? Any final questions before we leave? Again, going once, don't be afraid of asking questions. Going twice, yes. What's your sign? My sign? Yeah. What sign? Zodiac sign. My what? <laughs> what? What month were you born? April. You are. Uh... Oh, I don't follow that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to... All right. Again, please take a picture before I leave. Good job, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.